In my previous video, I talked about how to shift the graph of a function, and that's also called the function translations. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to flip the graph of a function. As you can see, we're using the graph for the function f of x is equal to log base 2 of x, and there are three kind of flips that we have to pay attention to. We also have to study the equations that go with it, so let's get into it for the first situation. For the first situation, this is the original. Let me just write it down. This is the f of x, right? What I'm going to do is, I'm going to multiply by f of x with negative, negative f of x. And what will happen is that we will just get this is equal to, we multiply negative right here then, right? Negative log base 2 of x. I'm pretty much just multiplying by negative 1 on both sides from the original, right? So this is the first kind of things that we'll do. And the effect of this is that we will take the original graph and then flip it upside down. This is the upside down situation. So let me indicate perhaps it right here, up and down situation, upside down. So this is how you are going to make it slightly more clear. Let me go back to the original and let me label that vertical isotope that we have mentioned a few times already. And then that's the fireworks. <laughs> and then for the new graph right here, we still keep that vertical isotope. So let me just keep it. Okay, we are not shifting left or right. So you will still be at the same place. On the original graph, you see we have this point, 1, 0. We also have another point that we know, which is 2, 1. Real quick, when you plug in 2 in here, log base 2 of 2 is 1. Okay? Alright, so now, imagine I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to flip it upside down. Then you are going to get things like this. A new graph, isn't it? And to show you why we will have a new graph, like it's the upside down. Imagine when x is 2 again. When x is 2, plug in 2 here, we get what? Negative log base 2 of 2. And then for log base 2 of 2, this is 1, and we have negative 1. So you see, originally it was 2, comma, positive 1. But then right here, it will be 2, comma, negative 1. So let's indicate that right here. How about this point right here, 1, comma, 0? Well, it states on the x-axis. Why? Because when you plug in 1 into here, you see negative log base 2 of 1. Log base 2 of 1 is 0. Negative 0 is still 0. So these are the two points that correspond from the original. And this is all I need. And you don't need to do these two points if you remember just to flip the graph upside down. As you can see from the original, the graph went straight down, right? When it gets close to the vertical isotope. But this time, when we go close to the vertical isotope, the graph will go straight up. So let me do that right here for you guys. It's a straight up situation. And then we can just continue this, trace the point, and then this is the graph. Okay? You don't need to make another table. If you remember, this is just an upside down flip of the original when you multiply by a negative for the whole function and that's it for the first one next i am still going to look at this and then let me write it down again we still have f of x but this time i am going to multiply by negative but not outside rather we have the inside i am multiplying by a negative directly with the x we are multiplying by a negative directly with the x. And to write the equation for this, well, f of negative x. This means we just plug in negative x into this original x right here, right? So we still have the log base 2. But this time inside, we will have negative x. And if this is the equation that we have to graph, then the effect is that we will take the original and flip it left to right. Okay, this is the horizontal flip. So this is the left right flipped. It's like a mirror in image. This graph was originally on the right. And now for this one, it will be on the left like that. 
okay so let me indicate the vertical acetal from the original and then for this one because we don't shift it around so it stays the same place and let's put this point here this was 1 comma 0 but this time this point has to go to the left hand side it will be negative 1 now and you can double check I need to plug in negative 1 into here so that I get negative negative 1 which would then become positive 1 log base 2 of positive 1 is 0 okay and then we also have this point that's just indicate that 2 comma positive 1 well we have to bring this point to the left hand side so we will have negative 2 and it is still positive 1 all right and now we are ready to go and you can just connect the dots and this time you see it will go like this isn't it and then we are done so keep in mind when we multiply by negative directly with the x that's the left and right flip if it's outside if the negative is with the f of x you see negative log base 2 of x then this right here is the upside down situation for the third one we are going to talk about the inverse so that's the notation f inverse x this means the inverse of the original and then well we can do the computation real quick to get the equation for the inverse to do so we first look at the original and we see the f of x let's write it down as y which is log base 2 of x and then the most important part for the inverse is that the x and y get switched so for this y it will become x for this x it will become y so let me write it down this is log base 2 of y and then we have to isolate this y well to do so because this is log base 2 so we do 2 to that power and then we do 2 to that power so that this and that will cancel right and you see we will get y by itself and this is equal to 2 to the x power and this new y here it's the inverse okay it's the inverse of the original keep in mind for the inverse the x and y get switched and to do the flip this is how we do it instead of the up and down flip the left and right flip for the flip of the inverse we are going to look at the original graph and then imagine that we have a diagonal line right here so we cut this diagonal line this is the equation for y is equal to x and you do this for the inverse and this is what I suggest you guys to do it well we still have this point this is 1 comma 0 this time let me write it down 1 comma 0 when we have the inverse graph the x and y get switched so this point will correspond to 0 comma 1 okay and once you identify we have the 0 comma 1 you can just go there 0 is right here 1 is right here that's this point originally we had a 2 comma 1 right here right well for the inverse we will have 1 comma 2 right so we can just go 1 comma 2 and then the original graph you just indicate that right here it has the vertical acetal at x is equal to 0 well once we flipped it the x becomes y and we have it's equal to 0 and then instead of the vertical acetal this becomes the horizontal acetal and that's this line right here y is equal to 0 you can also use the equation but then you see I didn't need to you can just remember the idea the x and y get switched and just have to switch the points and you should be good to go you can also just solve for this and then graph 2 to the x instead that's totally fine as well at the end you just graph it like this okay so this right here is the graph for the inverse and this is the flip about the line y is equal to x this diagonal line so let me write it down here this is the flip for the inverse so you do the diagonal flip right and let me write down the technical term about these flips right here for the first one 
we flip about the x-axis, right? So let me write it down here. We flipped it about the x-axis. And then for the second flip, you see it's the left and right situation. We flip about the y-axis. So let me just write it down here. We flipped about the y-axis. On the last one for the inverse, we flip about the line y is equal to x for the diagonal. So let me put it down. This is flip about y is equal to x. So this right here completes all the flips that we will have to do. That's it.